What's up guys? So in this video I'm gonna show you the gear that I use for my sports photography. Now it's nowhere near professional gear, but it's not budget friendly either. So I'd say it's somewhere in between. So over the years I've acquired little new pieces of gear and it's been getting better and better, but let's start with the bag. So the bag is quite basic. As it says in the name, it's uh, Amazon Basics. It is very basic. It's just a standard backpack with uh, some dividers inside that you can rearrange to fit the gear that you're using. Then it's got a little inside bag here where you can put some stuff, a zip line bag to, for minor stuff. And then in the, in the bag, you have another divider in the back for a laptop or in, the case, in my case, I usually put my, my stool here, my foldable stool. So let me show you the gear that I have and I'll have links for all the gear uh, in the description below. So the bag itself, it's called Amazon Basics. I don't think this model is sold anymore. I'm not sure. I think there's a newer version. Anyway, it's quite cheap. So the, the main camera that I use is filming me right now is a Canon 60 Mark II. Now it's not a sports photography camera, but it's a very versatile camera. So that's why I, I have it. I don't just shoot sports photography. So the second camera I use is the Canon 80D, which is a crop sensor. So it helps me get a little bit more reach when I put on the longer lens. Speaking of long, longer lenses, the my, my baby, this is the best purchase I've ever made. Photography expensive, yes, but it's just an amazing piece of a kit. It's the Canon 7200 f2.8 Mark II. Now there's a newer version, the Mark III, but to be honest, if you have this one, you cannot justify the upgrade in my opinion, unless you're rich. Now other lenses I use, I have, this is the lens that got me hooked into photography. It's the Canon 50mm f1.8, uh, it's Mark II. So it's not the STM version, which is a newer one. This is quite a, an old model, but it just got me hooked into photography. I have a blog about this. You can read it. I'll have a link in the description below. Another lens that I use when I have the ADD behind the goal or if I want a really, really wide uh, angle. Um, this is the Canon 10 to 18. Now it's a really slow lens, but it's, it's really wide and it's really good to vlog actually. Some of the scenes that you've seen in the previous vlogs that I did were filmed with this one because it's got image stabilization and it's really wide so I can hold the, the tripod and film myself and, and uh, the image won't be shaking. So that's good. Now other stuff that I use, so I have the GoPro uh, Hero 5. So there's two versions after that. I think the seven is the latest one. Um, for what I use it for, the five is perfect. I have a little tripod that, that came with the, with the pack that I bought. So it just continually folds and it has a little feet that you can set it on if you want. I don't know if you can see it. Has little feet that you can extend if you want. Well, it's not very good when it's not counterweighted, but yeah. It's I uh, obviously can flip it around, put it on the other side if you need to. Yeah. And it's really good to. Um, if you want to use it to vlog or to film yourself, you can do that too. So you just put the feet back inside and you extend it and you just go like this and you film yourself. So it's quite good. Um, uh, I also use the GoPro on top of the camera. So I mount it on the flash hot shoe as you've seen. So. I don't know where the little piece is, but it's just an adapter that you put on top of the of the camera. The GoPro goes on top and that's it. So uh, other accessories like the suction cup, one for the cell phone. So it's it's actually this one. It's just, it's got the, the cell phone 
adapter at the top, but you just put the GoPro here and you put it on top of the, of the camera. Then the tripod that I use for the behind the goal scenes for the remote camera is this one. So I just, it's quite simple. You just put it, you can adjust the, the tilt and whatnot. And you tighten it. If you need to tighten it to a pole or something, you can just use this Velcro thing and attach it. So it's quite handy. You can even use it to film yourself if you want. And I have, you know, rocket blower, the remote triggers. I have a video on that. You can check it out. I'll have a link in the description below in the blog as well. So the, these are the Young Newell RF 603C Mark II. I was not going to remember that name, but basically these are very cheap uh, alternatives to the Pocket Wizards, and they, for me, they work just fine. So. The cable is what you need to watch out for because different cameras have different cables. I speak of that in the in the video, but th these are just wonderful. Now, what you're not seeing um, at the moment because it's filming me, it's the Canon 2470 Mark, uh, not Mark, 2470 F4 L lens by Canon. It's a fantastic lens. It's not as fast as a 2.8, obviously, but it's a very good lens. Other gear that I use, I have the MacBook 13 inch um, for stuff on the go and to travel is really, really good. But I prefer editing on my PC on the desktop, on the big one. So, but yeah, this is the gear that I use. By no means is it budget friendly, but it's not pro gear either. The tripod that I'm using is uh, Manfrotto Elements, I believe it's called. Very simple, the cool thing about the tripod is that one of the legs comes out and turns into a monopod, which is what I use when I feel like using a monopod. So I'm usually hand holding this, unless I'm there for the whole match or for a full day, then I'll be using a monopod. Um, I'm not gonna talk about other gear that I have that's not really used on a daily basis on sports photography, like the speed lights and lighting and backdrops and whatnot, but this is my, I would say this is my uh, usual kit. So the 7200, absolutely beautiful lens. What a workhorse, it's magnificent really. Canon 6D Mark II, uh, Canon 80D, the GoPro for some different points of view, uh, the triggers for remote shooting, nifty 50, it's just in a bag because well, I guess nostalgia because I don't use it that much anymore. This one, the 10 to 18, I can only use it on the ADD because it's a EFS lens, but it's really, really wide. Now it's a pain to, to use it behind a goal because you don't have a focus indicator, like the limiter, so I rarely use it behind a goal because to, to set the focus and then set it to manual, you actually need to see what you're doing and, and there's no indicator here. So I don't like to use this behind the goal. I usually use the 24 to 70. I don't have a wider one for full film because it does have the focus indicator. So yeah, this is my gear. Uh, I know it's a boring video, but it's a video that most photographers do and hopefully it's something you would like to see. And. Um, Thank you for watching. So if you like this video, click that thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.